Hello everyone, this is our 2021 Audi RS Q8 with 12,910 miles in Daytona Gray Pearl. Beautiful color. Black optics package. So all the accents are blacked out. It's in excellent condition. No blemishes across the front anywhere. It might have one or two rock chips. I gotta really try and hunt them down though. I don't see them. Uh, none of them really stand out. They're not on the edge of the hood like you'll find typically on a lot of cars. There might be a few uh, throughout the grill, really small ones, but they are very difficult to see if there are any at all. So the front end looks fantastic. Front driver's side fender looks really good does have one small scratch just there very 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 small though not easily seen front driver's side wheel looks excellent no rash or anything absolutely massive brake calipers possibly the biggest i've ever seen those are huge driver's side mirror finished in gloss black of course because of the black optics package front driver's side door Looks great. Rear driver's side door is in good shape as well. Rear quarter panel, driver's side, no issues. Rear driver wheel, a little bit of rash there. Could have been from tire mounting though, kind of hard to say. Looks good regardless, very small blemish. Going around the back of the vehicle here, looks really good the um, face of the back hatch looks awesome there's no flaws no marks there bumper looks great i don't see any scratches scuffs or anything and especially over in this area here along the top of the back bumper that is typically a really high wear area from loading and offloading cargo into the back and this does not have any flaws there tiny little gloss black rear diffuser there looks really good dual exit black oval exhaust tips look awesome passenger side rear quarter panel looks really good again no flaws no scratches or anything rear passenger wheel looks really good no issues rear passenger door no scratches no scuffs no marks front passenger door again no flaws looks really good front passenger fender no issues there and the front passenger wheel looks great so i'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle here at exotic motorsports we like to do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out-of-state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from a sight unseen if they choose to do so walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day-to-day -day basis and helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones, helping to give you a better, well-rounded perspective of the overall condition of the vehicle. I will also walk around it a little bit further away so you can get a better idea of what the RSQ8 looks like. Beautiful SUV. I love it. Very aesthetic. Audi did a great job with this. Personally, I am a big fan. This gets compared to the Lamborghini Urus pretty often, and it's pretty easy to see why. Very similar exterior aesthetic, and the same chassis, if I am not mistaken, could be wrong. So here in the interior, we've got very smooth uh, black leather for the door panel and Alcantara for the center section there, carbon fiber accents, one-touch windows for all four doors. We've got heated auto-dimming blind spot assist power folding mirrors, memory seats that are black leather heated and cooled, perforated with red uh, diamond stitching, or I guess that honeycomb stitching that they put in the RS cars. Bang & Olufsen premium audio, sounds truly fantastic. Illuminated door sills, I love that. And of course your standard power seat adjustments. 
and massaging seat options there. You got your headlight and fog light options. Get out of the heat here. Whew. Push button start. Fires right up. Has a nice little uh, startup sound there. Nice friendly welcome sound. Uh, here in the gauge cluster, you can see we've got no issues. Everything looks good. We're at 12,910 miles. And it also has this unique feature called RS mode, which is kind of like a, a race mode. So you press it once, changes your gauge cluster layout to this, automatically puts the transmission in sport, puts the car in dynamic, and uh, gives you this layout. You press it again, and it puts it in RS2 mode, which is like the truly no holds barred full race mode for this. Um, so pretty unique feature does have navigation bluetooth um all of those features for the infotainment screen all of your options here uh, very intuitive and down here you've got things like your auto start stop uh, toggle your hill descent assist your garage door remote and your climate control. You've also got your heated and cooled seats down there. And it's super hot out, so don't mind if I do. Parking cameras here. It does have 360 cameras as well as a front and rear view. Media controls there. Clean cup holder there, 12 volt input. Your uh, shifter for the eight speed automatic transmission. Electronic parking brake. Tons of features, rain sensing wipers, you got your blinkers, your high beams, and your distance pace and cruise control with your distance button here. Toggle how far you want to follow. You can see that on the gauge cluster there just above the P symbol. So pretty cool. Um, definitely a lot of features. There's a lot going on with this car and there are all kinds of gauge cluster menu options. You can change the layout, the way you see things. Um, you have what's called Audi Virtual Cockpit, which is kind of just the, the layout style that it has. And you can view navigation, media, all kinds of things here in the center screen. Instead of having to use that screen, so you could have, you know, if you wanted navigation on this one, and then you wanted to view your radio on this one, you could do that. So if you needed to navigate somewhere or see where you're at, you can have that here in the gauge cluster and then deal with your media over here. I love that it gives you two simultaneous options. It's very, very ergonomic, huge fan of it. You also have paddle shifters here for your eight speed transmission. Uh, Alcantara from the A pillar and B pillar up to the headliner, dual pan panoramic uh, sunroof there. And the seats are all in perfect condition. Door panels are flawless. Even the carpets still have those nice, freshly detailed stripes in them. Carbon fiber all across the dash. Premium leather across the top of the dash. Frameless auto dimming rear view mirror with a compass included. Uh, also, let's see if it'll do it here. I'm not sure how visible that was, but it does have soft closed doors as well. And here in the back, we've got power sunshades, if I'm not mistaken. So here we've got the uh, rear dual zone climate control as well with heated seats. Really, really nice. Tons of legroom in the back. I mean, lots. Uh, the front seat was adjusted for me comfortably. And I'm six foot one, and I've got probably well over a foot of leg space back here. Very comfortable. Uh, you do have the power sunshades for the back as well. Pretty neat feature, gotta love that. And the view is really nice from the back as well with the uh, dual pane sunroof. You got your reading lights back here, sunshades, very comfortable. And also, 
Whether or not you have kids or grown-ups in the back, you can toggle your child safety locks electronically with these two buttons here. So you can actually just electronically toggle if you want your child locks on or off, which is so cool. And here's our beast of a drive train here. The twin turbo four liter V8, absolute monster of an engine, makes gobs of torque. And the great thing about it is that it makes power throughout the entire um, RPM band. And what that means is when you have it in comfort, when uh, the transmission is just in drive and you just want a smooth experience, it produces a lot of torque down low, which means that you don't have to rev it out to get it to move. Uh, the car is still very nimble and gets up to speed very easily without the engine having to work very hard whatsoever. Um, but again, if you do pop it into that RS mode or even have it in dynamic and sport, uh, it will definitely pick up and take off. This thing is not slow by any means. Uh, this twin turbo V8 makes a lot of power. Idles very, very smooth. It has great uh, street manners. It's not, you know, jerky or anything like that that sometimes comes with a, uh, a high powered application like this. It's incredibly smooth and Audi definitely sticks to the, uh, the luxury side of things with the RSQ8, uh, not compromising drivability for power whatsoever. You definitely get both. Also, these daytime running lights are insane. I love that, it's so modern. This is a really, really fantastic SUV from both its driving capability, its creature comforts and luxury, and just how comfortable it is. It's really an SUV that does everything you need it to with tons of cargo space in the back as well. Extremely nice. So that is our 2021 Audi RS Q8. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this car on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.